Here's a couple of new related features for users of Darkmark, Darkhelp, and Darknet. Let me load up uh, this sample project here. I have an image with a lot of text. Um, what I'm going to do, well, actually, the letter W enables a uh, like a black and white binary image mode. It doesn't change the image at all. It doesn't change the training image to black and white. It'll still use the same color images that you have. Uh, but I needed black and white for the next thing that I'm about to show you. Uh, but before we go there, let me zoom in. So you can see the, uh, the problem with having text in a JPEG image. The artifacts that JPEG compression leaves behind. Um, and I needed to clean that up for the next thing that I'm going to show you. So I'll show you how that works. So there's the threshold sizes here. Let's increase that and see if we can clean up this black and white image. Uh, 15 may not be enough. Let's go to 25. Okay, so all the little black dots are now gone. That's good. I'm going to turn on this, this next feature, auto snapping. So I had a project where I needed to annotate a bunch of text. And that's where this came from. So if I select just this area here, you can see as soon as I let go of the mouse, it goes and grabs a lot more. So I'm going to grab just this. I'm going to let go of the mouse here. And you can see that it snaps directly to the object. Same thing here. I'm going to grab part of a paragraph when I let go. It grabs that paragraph exactly. Um, there's a different tolerance for vertical and horizontal snapping. That way you can potentially select individual words or individual lines. Right now I've got the tolerance set a little bit high so that it doesn't select words. It, it goes until it finds a large blank space. Um, here I'm going to try with the signature here. There you go. So that is the snapping fee feature. You don't have to be viewing the image in black and white. Uh, Darkmark automatically takes care of working with the black and white image. You can be in color here. I can select an area and there you go. So in the middle and it selects the, the entire paragraph. Um, this was done mostly for images that had text but it does work in other situations as well I'm going to show you with the mailbox project that I've used in previous videos let me delete the weights file from here load and go to an image that's not annotated there you go so if we look at black and white image you know what that's not exactly what I want you'll see I need to decrease maybe even more than that. Uh, let's try this. So now it'll be easier to select this. Okay. I didn't notice if snapping was on. There you go. I'll turn snapping on. So even working off a color image here. I can select part of it and it snaps to the object that I want. So you still have to select the right class, of course. This is 13, this is 14. But this gives you an idea of how snapping works. So the black and white and color, you switch between with the W key. And then snapping is lowercase d, and to turn snapping on and off uh, for every annotation is uppercase d. So if I do uppercase d to turn snapping off, now I can do an annotation like this. Let's see, that's 8. And then if I want to snap just that one annotation and nothing else, then I put lowercase d while that is selected. And there you go, it snaps the 8. That's it. Hope this helps.